Basketball is really popular in China. It basically started with uh, the Michael Jordan era in Chicago where the first NBA games were broadcasted in China and then after Yao Ming joined the league then it started to explode and ever since then it's been growing every single year. And the young generation, my generation of people in China are very internet savvy and with that comes a lot of interesting nicknames for NBA players. Now the reason why there are actually more NBA players with Chinese nicknames than English nicknames is because of the awkwardness of phonetic translation. And here's a brief explanation as to how English and Chinese names are translated into one another. So you can take my last name for instance. This is the character. Uh, it actually, well, it means ginger technically, but that's, that's a separate point. This character in Chinese is pronounced Jiang, but if I were to translate this into English, so on the English documents that I have, uh, it is J-I-A-N-G. And of course, if you don't speak Chinese and if you just try to pronounce this word, you would pronounce it something like Jiang. So it's a close approximation because Chinese and English are such different language systems that this is about as close as you can get without overcomplicating things. And the reverse is also true. So when we go from English to Chinese, it's also a phonetic approximation. So take James, which is a very common name. Um, James in Chinese, the standard translation, would be Zhan Mu Si. And if you say those three things together, you can see how it kind of sounds like James. Zhan Mu Si. And the thing is, when you translate something like James into Zhan Mu Si, uh, Zhan Mu Si has no meaning. The, the, the characters are basically random. They don't fit together because they're just meant to uh, approximate the sound of the English word. So what makes a lot more sense is when NBA players get some sort of name that actually describes them in some way. So since we already mentioned James, let's start with LeBron. Uh, LeBron is often referred to as Zhan Huang. Uh, Zhan is the first character from his translated name and Huang means emperor. Uh, technically, Zhan Wang would be the correct translation for King James, but historically China has had emperors, not kings. So uh, Emperor James, fits better within the culture, but more importantly, I think the reason why it caught on is because it adds another layer of superiority and, and epicness. However, LeBron's critics give him the nickname of Liu Bu Lang, which sounds a lot like LeBron, but also means the man who takes six steps in reference to his tendency to travel. And then let's move on to the player that I used for the, the thumbnail of this video, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Nobody wants to type or even pronounce that last name in any language, so uh, his nickname in Chinese is Zimu Ge, Zimu meaning the alphabet, and Ge meaning brother, or in, in this context, just man, so the alphabet man. Anthony Davis's nickname is Nongmei Ge, or the bushy-browed man, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Paul George is called Pao Jiao, or pickled peppers. Uh, the pickled peppers part is not in reference to anything. Uh, he's only called this because the two characters, Pao Jiao, phonetically sounds pretty close to Paul George's full name. Westbrook has a pretty cool nickname, it's Wei Sha. Wei is the first character of his last name, which is five characters long, Wei Si Bu Lu Ke. And the reason why a different Wei, a different character is used here, is because this Wei means fierce in Chinese. Uh, Shao means young, so young and fierce. Westbrook is also occasionally called Ren Zhe Gui, or uh, Ninja Turtle, because yeah. Steven Adams has very recently gotten a nickname of Hai Wang or King of the Sea because he looks like Jason Momoa who plays Aquaman. Victor Oladipo also has an interesting nickname. Oladipo translates into Ao La Dipo. And so Chinese fans took the first and third letter of his name as an abbreviation Ao Di, which is also the Chinese translation of Audi, like, like the car. So there's a sort of uh, connotation referring to Oladipo's speed. Kobe Bryant, uh, Kobe translates into Kobe, also referred to as uh, Hei Man Ba or the Black Mamba, of course. Kobe is also often referred to as Woke, which means the shell of a snail. And you know, like Paul George's Pickle Pepper's name, uh, there's no meaning behind uh, the shell of a snail. Now, the reason why Woke is used is because it sounds the same as Woke, Ke taken from the first character and Wo meaning my. So when people say Wo Ke, it's a term of affection, kind of like saying my dear Kobe or my dude Kobe in English. Kobe's critics, however, give him the nickname of Da Tie Wang or the king who strikes iron, striking iron a reference to missing shots. 
Derek Rose, uh, often referred to as Meigui, which means rose in Chinese. Again, a case where if a name has some sort of meaning, then the meaning is taken instead of the pronunciation. Dwight Howard is often referred to as Mo Shou, which means magical beast, a name that got stuck with him during his early years playing for the Orlando Magic when he was one of the most dominant players in the league. Uh, Zach Randolph, his last name translates into Lan Duofu, although people instead like to call him Lan Duofu, which sounds pretty similar, uh, but it instead means mashed tofu in reference to his chubby face and physique. All right, now here's a Chinese character I want you to get familiar with. It's pronounced Shen, and it means God in Chinese. Many NBA players have nicknames that involve them being called some type of God. Stephen Curry is often called Meng Shen, Meng meaning cute, essentially the, the Chinese translation of babyface assassin. JaVale McGee often referred to as Jiong Shen. Now Jiong, this character is kind of an internet meme in China because it looks like a facial expression and people use it as a reaction, kind of like uh, cringe or LOL in English. And so McGee, being the Shaqton legend, naturally has this label. Andre Drummond, his nickname is Zhuang Shen. Zhuang, uh, simply a character that sounds quite a lot like drum. And similar deal with Clay Thompson, he's sometimes referred to as Tang Shen, Tang taken from the first character of Tang Pu Sen. Clay is also referred to as Fu Zu, meaning the Buddha, because, well, yeah. Speaking of Buddhas, uh, Tim Duncan has a nickname Shi Fu, which means the stone Buddha in reference to his lack of emotional expression. Jordan translates into Qiao Dan, although MJ is often referred to as Qiao Bangzhu, Bangzhu meaning the leader of a gang or a clan. Uh, Qiao Bangzhu is incidentally a famous character in a Chinese martial art novel, which is why this particular nickname stuck and not something like King Chao or Emperor Chao was used. And then to differentiate between Michael Jordan and DeAndre Jordan, people have resorted to calling DeAndre Jordan Xiao Chao Dan or Little Jordan. DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> Cousins has a pretty unique nickname. Cousins phonetically translates to Kao Xin Si, but his name is Biao Mei. Mei meaning younger sister or younger female, and Biao meaning cousin. So my younger female cousin. It has something to do with cousins getting a lot of technical fouls and having frequent temper outbursts, kind of acting like a little girl. It might also have originated from this famous video clip. DeMarcus Cousins is an emotional lesbian. <laughs> Speaking of women, Paul Gasol has a nickname of Jia Sao, or sister-in-law. This is because some fans thought that his playstyle was often too soft. It also is a close abbreviation of the standard translation of Gasol, which is Jia Suo Er. Additionally, Paul Gasol is often referred to as Da Jia and Marcus Gasol Xiao Jia, denoting the sibling relationship between the two. Tony Parker's nickname is Fa Guo Pao Che, or the French sports car, in reference to his high acceleration in transition and when driving to the rim. Mano Ginobili probably has the coolest Chinese nickname, which is Yao Dao, or the Devil's Blade, a reference to his unorthodox playstyle and his mystical, often visually baffling Euro steps. Kevin Garnett is called Long Wang, or King of the Wolves, that's pretty self-explanatory. Bill Russell is called Zhi Huan Wang, or Lord of the Rings, also self-explanatory. Charles Barkley's nickname... <laughs> Barkley's nickname is slightly less flattering, it's uh, Fei Zhu, or the Flying Pig. Shaquille O'Neal, often referred to as Da Sha Yu, or the Big Shark, also referred to as Ao Pang. Ao taken from the first character of his last name, and Pang meaning fat. This nickname caught on during Shaq's later years when he put on a lot of weight. Kawhi Leonard, often referred to as Kawaii, and as many of you anime fans will instantly recognize, this is actually the Japanese word for cute. Japanese anime is very popular in China and it caught on because the word kawaii sounds very similar to kawaii. Okay, well that's the video. Uh, there are other Chinese nicknames uh, for NBA players out there. New ones you know, are popping up every year, especially as new players come into the NBA and eventually get some sort of nicknames. Uh, I simply picked the ones that I thought were mo most interesting and the ones that are actually uh, used frequently online. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're an NBA fan and you've not subscribed to my channel, you should definitely do that. Uh, otherwise, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, whatever you want, and I'll see you next time.